everyone, I took a trip to the Amazon bookstore. As many of you might have already seen on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, I went to the Amazon bookstore in San Diego, California which is one of two that already exists. There's another one in Seattle, and it was a really fun experience. At the Amazon bookstore, they have a selection of books um, from each of their genres. So they have maybe like 40 or 50 titles from the YA section, and then, you know, 40 or 50 titles from fiction, nonfiction, cooking, photography, anything that you can imagine. So the store is big, but it's also small in the sense of they don't have a ton of variety. While I was there, of course, I got a couple of books. So one of the first ones I got was Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo. And of course, everyone already knows about this, so I don't, I'm not going to go into any of the synopsis or anything. But finally, I picked this up. It was only $10, which the pricing, the way that it works at the Amazon bookstore is that you pay the price of the books that they are online if you're a Prime member. And at checkout, which I'll explain later, um, they add it all up so you can see like how much savings you're going to get. While I was there, I wanted to get a book that I hadn't really heard anything about or had ever seen before. So what I picked up was Every Anxious Wave by Mo Davio. I knew I was going to butcher that. But what really pulled me into this one was the cover since it has the vinyl. And of course, I love old music and vinyl. So I had to get this one. And this one's about a man who creates a time machine and it's for people to go back in time to watch their favorite bands at their concerts. So yeah, that's kind of the whole premise of it. But then he screws up somehow and goes back to 980 instead of 1980. And I guess it just kind of goes from there. So this sounded really interesting and right up my alley since, of course, I love, 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 love anything that has to do with like old music. So this was perfect for me. And then I also got A Little Life by this author whose name I'm not even going to try to pronounce. But I've seen this one all over Instagram and Twitter and stuff like that, and the cover and the premise really intrigued me, so this was one of the ones that I definitely had to get while I was there. And I believe this one was also $10, maybe $13, um, but yeah, it's much thicker than I expected, um, but I'm really excited to jump right into this one. So the last book I got was Stephen King's On Writing, which I don't have with me because my parents are going to give it to me as a Christmas gift. And I love Stephen King's On Writing. I've had to read it for a couple times for school, and it's just been a fantastic read each time. And I highly recommend it for anyone else out there who's like thinking of becoming a writer or is a writer or likes writing. It's just really great. So one of the cool things that they do at the Amazon bookstore is they give you these nice, cool bookmarks um, with each book purchase that you get. And I thought that was just like a fun little advertisement for them. I mean, they're really brightly colored, you know, so like you really see them in the book, but also, you know, if you were to hang them or display them or something, but they're really cute. At the bookstore, all of the books face out, so they're not quite like this where they're, you see the spine. So it's not a typical shopping experience um, that I was used to. So that was kind of interesting. And then they also have book plates at the bottom of each title. So that gives you a review that someone has given online at, at Amazon and then it gives you the barcode as well so you can scan that with your Amazon app to find out how much the price is but then they also had scanners located around the store where you could just scan it there too. And that was the interesting thing too was that there's not just you know prices everywhere of like a flat price of what the book is or what the book you know if it's written on the book itself. So basically when you go the prices will change almost every day because the prices are always changing on Amazon.com every day. So you might go one day and pay one price or another day and pay another price, which was kind of an interesting concept too. I personally really liked the ability of seeing the full cover of the books while I was browsing and then being able to just scan immediately on my phone. The only thing is that it took a little while to pop up on my phone, so I found myself just tucking my phone away after a while and going to the scanners and doing it that way, and it was also killing the battery on my phone for some reason because I don't know why, but I think Amazon kind of needs to work on that just because it was like so tiresome to just stand there and wait and wait and wait for the price to pop up. One last thing I forgot to mention is how you pay for the books themselves because you can't just walk out of the store. But what you do is you take all your books to the counter and they have a screen there where they of course scan everything. And then what they have you do is scan a QR code with your Amazon app and that pulls up your total for you and you can select your credit card, your payment method, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And then you just pay for your books through the app and they send you a 
receipt and then you're done. The only caveat with that is if you didn't have the Amazon app, which I know you could use through your browser, but if you didn't have your phone with you, I'm not exactly sure how you would pay just because that is all online. So that was the only thing that I thought was interesting, but everyone who went there seemed ready to pay with their phone. Like I didn't overhear or notice anyone else who was, you know, trying to pay with cash or anything like that, which I'm sure you could do, but I'm not sure how that would work. I had a great experience at the Amazon bookstore and I hope that you would think about going too, but I know people have reservations about Amazon and it is what it is, but I have a whole link to a Twitter thread that I created down below that you can check out on all that. I hope you enjoyed my haul and my experience video. If you have any questions, I have links down below my Twitter where I can answer like live form. Otherwise leave a comment, you know, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Ugh. <sighs>